there's no limit to how extravagant the wedding could be. But we also thought that it, it wouldn't be he or Anastasia's thing to have too gaudy a wedding or too big with a bunch of strangers and stuff. So we wanted that mix of something a little bit intimate, but certainly luxurious with no expense spared. And uh, I think we found a good, uh, a good balance, that it was believable that this is what they would do. She is perfect. She had such a wide view of the character and her progression from gray to darker to freed. She really understood her in some kind of organic way, you know, not that she would quote from the script or the books or anything, but she would quote from her own feelings. And they were, to my mind, perfectly in sync with who the hell Anastasia Steele is. So that kind of instinctual connection is when I think actors get are really good in their part, where they're really referencing something that they know. Their relationship is very different and has a solid base to it because they've committed to each other and are married. And each of them continues to grow in their different ways and Anastasia becomes very confident and happy to be uh, defined as half of this marriage. And um, they go through their trials and tribulations, but it's a more mature relationship because they've just gone down the road further. And uh, so I think it's more interesting in that way. But I think the chemistry is the best of the three movies because um, somehow they're more on an equal footing with each other than they've ever been in the other movies. And that kind of releases both of them to inject more of themselves into the situation. There's something about the um, ice cream scene in this movie that um, I really love. This is a scene that's um, not in the book, but um, is uh, reflective of their relationship in a really good moment between them where there's no uh, conflict or stress. And that's rare uh, to, uh, on, with their relationship in this movie. So it's a moment of peace and it makes it very loose and uh, funny and sexy and um, stress-free. The idea that their relationship, they're coming together, they're committing to a union is kind of ironically what makes them the most free. Their commitment to each other makes them the most free as individuals and how it changes them psychologically and Anna matures and Christian matures and they're much more whole, solid, individual people by the end of the third movie. Hey, Vali here. Did you like the video? Did you know it was based on a book? Hollywood often turns to novels and non-fiction books for movie ideas, but sometimes the films are so popular that they overshadow their source material. Here are some famous movies you might not know were based on books. Die Hard was based on the book Nothing Lasts Forever by Roderick Thorpe. Full Metal Jacket was based on The Short Timers by Gustav Hasford. The There Will Be Blood story was taken from Oil by Upton Sinclair. Ben Affleck's The Town was based on the book Prince of Thieves by Chuck Hogan. What's your favorite movie based on a book? Let me know in the comments below and see you next time. Bye bye.